<clears throat> All right, I'm gonna be sitting down here for a while talking. Uh, hey guys, so this is a Fortnite commentary. It's a bit different from what I usually do. Um, but this is sort of a commentary of gameplay, and this is basically me getting the uh, mythic drum gun for the first time. And this is a tragedy. I must say, this is a big tragedy. Um, right now, my uh, I don't actually get the drum gun at first, but my friend, not my friend, but um, I'm playing random squads in this. A random squad mate actually got the uh, the drum. I, I, did I say drum gun or shotgun? I meant to say drum gun, the Midas drum gun. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do a stream where I try to unlock every um. Oh yeah, I didn't know that guy was um a henchman. I thought that was an actual player because usually all the henchmen look the same, but that one didn't. Uh, another thing is, is that I'm pretty sure Brutus, I know that Brutus is the guy who spawns in the grotto, but I swear, I saw Brutus spawn here, like, just comment if that has happened to any of you guys, if Brutus, uh, nah, stood it there, if Brutus spawns in the agency for you, and, do I get knocked in this gameplay? I hope not, I don't think so, um, but anyways, Okay, back that disguise. Uh, I'm gonna do a stream soon where basically I go to all the new locations and defeat all the bosses, and hopefully I can get that new uh, Midas. Oh yeah, replay mode didn't show that. That sucks. But hopefully I can get the the Midas drum gun, because I said this is a tragic story. Spoiler alert: I don't even get one kill with the darn thing. Like, you know, since it is a really legendary gun. Um, obviously they made the reload time really long. Oh, and at this point I kind of realized that my friend got the drum gun. Not my friend, but the squad mate. Because he, um, put on his mic, like... Yeah, he, he had just, like, turned on his mic. But he does, uh, try to hook me up with the vault loot, unfortunately. Uh, you'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to do a stream where I unlock all the new weapons. I hope I can... Cause, and I hope I actually get some cool uh, clips, because I got the new drum gun, uh, not drum gun, machine gun, or mini gun, and same thing happened. As soon as I got it, there was another enemy that, like, sniped me. And then I got the new TNT's, uh Boombo, but then I got stuck in the storm, and before I got any kills, like, you know, boom, I literally get stuck in the storm. Alright, so this is um, my friend who's up there. Um, I'm gonna say he's my friend. I did not. I don't think I sent him a friend request, unfortunately. Um, but I think his name was Hooter Snooter or something. Yeah, his name was Hooter Snooter, uh, and um, he will live in the memories of this channel. Like he will live on as just the, you know, absolute goat of this channel. As you can see, I'm trying to be. You know, he's trying to hook me up with all the loot here. But, bro, everyone else is grabbing all this crap, bro. I am, I was not able to get any, any of this. I was about to, oh, yeah, I, um, I do grab the pistol, but then I realized I dropped my scar for it. So, before anyone picked up my scar, I just, you know, grabbed it. Um, I do get some shield from this, though. Oh, uh, for some reason, replay mode didn't even show, um, the the uh slurp juice containers being destroyed anyways uh sorry also i know uh some of you guys that like my fortnite videos might be kind of pissed off that i do a lot of lego videos it's a hobby guys my youtube channel is phoenix productions gaming and hobbies so um a lot of people think i should make two separate channels but it's been on the same channel for a while and i know that's not really an excuse but i just already i have my normal channel my cat channel and then the channel that my friend owns that I do as, like, a group channel. And, you know, I all of a sudden don't want to start, you know, posting on two different accounts for each thing. Plus, what do I even call a gaming channel? Like, Phoenix Gaming and then Phoenix Productions for the LEGO stuff? Like, I don't know. Um, there are a lot of crucial mistakes made in this game. I feel like if these mistakes weren't made, we could have won. I said this was a tragedy, so obviously we don't get the dub. Um, I actually, in the time of like recording this um like audio, this voiceover, I've actually recorded part two of Fortnite commentaries. This is sort of like a new mini series. Um, and also, 
it's also kind of a tragedy. Um, not a tragedy, but it's um, it's basically spoiler alert for um the next episode. But it's basically just me sucking at um, Zone Wars, and it's just kind of chilling. Yeah, it's kind of stupid. Um, but I'm uploading that right after this video. But the next, like, Fortnite commentary video, I'm going to try to get, like, a dub and then, you know, do a commentary of it. Now, I will say the other commentary video is not, like, a commentary like this. It's just me with the gameplay muted talking. But the thing is, is that I'm talking live with the gameplay. So, it's a little different. Um, if you didn't already notice, uh, this gameplay is from a couple days ago. Um, but I'm doing some decoys. This is one of the main crucial mistakes. So, actually, so basically we started, uh, the other teammates wanted to just battle out, and, um, we were actually doing good, though. Like, if we got in that boat, could have escaped, could have, you know, gone to a circle. We weren't even keeping track at, of, about the circle at this point. Uh, oh, I think I, yeah, I think I get knocked around this point. I, I think I get knocked, like, twice in this game, um, but, yeah, it's just sad story, because this could have been a dub, but like, even... Even though if it was if it did go the right way, I probably wouldn't have the drum gun at the end. It's not like I did anything cool with it. As I said, I, you know, reload time was yeah. Uh, um, I need to stop spoiling this crap, bro. But as you can see, like I got the boat. I was gonna pick up the rest of my squad mates, but then I went to help them out, and um. Yeah, it's just, it's a sad story. There's so much that could have got uh, gone differently if uh, we just left. Um, definitely a sad story. It's a Fortnite tragedy. And as I said, Hooter Snooter, um, I didn't tell him about my YouTube channel, but if somehow he is watching this, yo, you will live on in the memory of uh, this YouTube channel. Not, nah, Fortnite Season 2, Chapter 2. This is definitely one of the highlights, bro. This dude was an absolute legend. Um, but anyways. And I can't believe that the whole agency... The whole agency, it's a massive, like, mansion. Um, but it's literally, like, tilted, basically. It's not as crazy as tilted in, like, Season 3. But it's, like, Season 5 tilted, if I was to say it any other way. Also, I'm pretty sure, yeah, our squad was um, all defaults besides me. And then, you know, I'm rocking that Sunstrider skin. Woo! Um, nah, not gonna lie, it is one of my favorite skins. It's nostalgic. It's honestly just not even in a weird way. It is like just a cool looking skin. And then obviously Phoenix Productions in the weird way. You, you know that. You, you probably never mind. Um, one thing is, uh, I I didn't do any videos there because it's kind of a Boy Scouts thing. But in Boy Scouts, we go to this camp out every year, and um. So basically the whole prank was it was gonna it was me and Midnight, right? Midnight is a guy who he appears on some of Spacey's videos. He was like in two of his videos. Um Midnight doesn't really appear in any uh videos. He's gonna be uh hopefully in one of my videos soon. because uh, I have something planned. It's like a Lego competition, kind of like the Lego Masters show that's on uh ABC, I think. Which I've missed out on all those episodes, bro. I need to go back and watch that. Um but basically, I told Midnight, right, because um, this was in August, so I'm a long-term planner. Oh, crap. Yeah, this dude with the shotgun, he was try hard. I remember I got knocked by him like twice in a row. You're about to see the first time. Yeah, right there. Um, Nice view, though. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Anyways, um, so Midnight, I was talking to him because I'm a fast planner, so I'm already like planning Christmas and crap. And this was in 2018, by the way. So season five was still relevant. Sunstrider, you know, um, was still relevant. Fortnite skin, you know, there were still videos rolling out like, ooh, for uh, you know, Fortnite Sunstrider doing this emote. Um, Fortnite Sunstrider marries Drift, you know, all that, all that crap was still like relevant, kind of. Um, oh yeah, that that's Hooter Snooter. With the gold drum gun reviving me. We were the only two survivors. Um, as I said. We missed. Um, but anyways. Um, and you're going to be seeing that view again soon. Because I'm about to get knocked again. Holy crap. I freaking. Uh, four nice squads. Two people left. It, it could just be crazy. Um, 
all right but anyways so i go out and i tell um midnight i'm like yo dude you know christmas is coming and i'm gonna i'm gonna get I'm gonna get Cooper Spacey. This was before you Spacey. It was Cooper Studios at this point. Ooh, I did. I didn't. Okay, okay, crap. But um, I did not know. I, I don't think I was doing that on purpose though. I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty sure I was just trying to move to see where he was. But anyways, this dude. Um, so I told this dude, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna get, and my friends, I because this was, I was gonna get Robert involved with this. We're like. <laughs> We're gonna make Cooper a Sunstrider body pillow, and you know we're gonna go over his house and hide it in his closet. And then midnight, um, midnight kind of thought it was so funny. Um, but at the same time, midnight and him were going to the same. Co oh yeah, my Xbox goes idle for a couple seconds, like a minute. Sorry about this. But um, so midnight is in the same car as uh Cooper at this point. And basically what happens is that he goes out and tells Cooper, he's like, um, he kind of snitches on me. And, but the thing is, is that, um, Cooper, as a joke, twists it to everyone else in the Boy Scout troop, telling them that I have a, that apparently I have a Sunstrider body pillow. So, yeah, if you've ever seen anyone in my videos, you probably, like, not really in my videos, but in Spacey streams, like, I, I might join him, and then, like, he'll say something. Oh, um, yeah. All right, this is where the legend starts. So, Hooter Snooter looks out into the sunset, and he sacrifices himself. Uh, yeah, at this point, I'm just, like, read, yeah, just seeing what's going on. But he sacrifices himself. He knows that he is dead in the storm. He gives me that drum gun, and I am riding into the distance. And th this is sad. This is... This is why he will be forever missed. Just R.I.P. Hooter Snooter. Uh, whoever you are, if you ever see this video, just, no. Yeah. Um, R.I.P. And he's also, if he does see this video, which is very unlikely, I, I didn't tell him about my channel, uh, he's going to be very disappointed because, um, bro, I completely failed at that drum gun. Like, holy crap, I'm kind of embarrassed because this was also early in the morning too so i was a little scrubby um but besides that like i would have done good if um if it wasn't left right before reload and you'll kind of see how that goes down uh i'm actually i believe i'm i'm i was i got in like fourth this game and that was really sad um but you know i'm going to explore this house and you can kind of see, by the way, I'm lagging. For my game at the time, it was like one of those like un unrendered houses. It kind of just looked like a blob of brown and green. Uh, obviously, in replay, it looks all good. And by this point, it had like actually fixed up. Um, but I'm trying to I'm trying to find some meds and um, you know, like to get me full health. But the only problem is, is that I have a AR with no ammo and a minigun with barely any ammo so i don't got no shotguns if i had a shotgun like if i still got if i still had my tack i would have been like all good to go basically tack drum gun uh i, w I don't know if i would have been like completely okay but i would have done way better than i actually did um but this is just a sad story it's kind of it's gonna make me cringe but you know there's actually a secret bunker here and it leads to like uh, this little prison kind of reminds me of the little bunker in wailing woods with all the perma rifts even though that was amazing this is kind of mediocre but holy crap bro that that um bunker with the perma rifts that was introduced in season six in wailing woods that was that was really good i i really like that that was just one of the little like little unique things that fortnite did um that i really liked um, but yeah, this, this part, <laughs> I'm gonna need to look away, this part's gonna make me cringe my butt off, bro. Holy crap. So at this point, I can hear footsteps, so I'm kinda cracking 90s, even though, uh, it's in the morning, so I'm obviously, you know, I'm not goaded on the sticks, I'm, like, just building, like, a gorilla with a controller, I'm just like, oh! Alright, as you can see here, the reload time, and then, like, yeah, it's just, I'm... Yeah.
freaking hate this, bro. It, 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 just, it makes me cry, bro, every time I see this. Um, but I hope somehow you found enjoyment in my suffering. And uh, if you got to this point, just put uh, Rip Hooter Snooter in the comments. And I'll see you later. Damn, I'm such a noob in this video.